Hello everyone, today we're going to look at using Excel to find Poisson distribution values. This is very similar to the binomial distribution that we did before, so you're going to see things that look very similar. So we're going to suppose that x is some random variable that's distributed like a Poisson distribution and the mean is 0.7. So we have a couple of our basic probability types and then a couple that are a little bit more complicated. So our first one is the probability that x equals 3. So the values in that range is just 3. And we're going to come over to Excel command and talk about what we're going to plug into it. So first I'm going to do it up here so that we can see everything that's being typed out. So equals, because we want Excel to do it, and then Poisson.dist for the Poisson distribution open the parentheses. The first thing we need to plug in is our x, so in this case 3, and then the mean, so 0.7. And then just like with the binomial, we have this true and false. And remember, true can be represented with a 1 and false with a 0, so you don't have to write the word true or false. So true returns the cumulative Poisson probability that tells us um, the probability of the number of random events occurring being between 0 and x inclusive. So if I hit the 1 or the true, this would give me the probability that x is 0, 1, 2, or 3, which isn't what I want. So I'm going to move down to the false, and it says that it's the probability of the number of events occurring will be exactly x. So that's the one that I want. So just like with the binomial, zero at the end it means I'm getting probability of x equals a number and a one at the end is the probability that x is less than or equal to a number. Okay, So I'm going to put that over here and I'm not going to put the equal sign so that what I'm typing will stay here. So again it was Poisson distribution or Poisson.dist of my value 3, my mean 0.7 and then I want zero because I want exactly equal to 3. So this is the probability that x equals 3. And the value, as I'll do with the equal sign now, and I'm typing in the same thing, 3.70. And the probability that x is exactly 3 is roughly 3%. The next major type of probability we can have is the probability that x is less than or equal to a number less than or equal to 2 in this case. And the values that that occurs are 0, 1, and 2, which is exactly the Poisson distribution that was the cumulative, that I wanted the um, 1 at the end. So I'm going to do Poisson.dist, 2, because that's my new x value, 2. 0.7 is still my mean, but now I'm going to plug in a 1 because I want the cumulative. So I'll start typing that in with the equal sign. And that's going to give me a much higher number. And it's very likely that we're going to have 0, 1, or 2 of the things, because the probability of it occurring once is 0.7. So it's a very high probability. The third type of probability we can have is the probability that x is greater than or equal to a number. So for here we have the probability that x is greater than or equal to 4. So that includes 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you know, until the end of time. But remember, the Excel commands will only give us the probability that x is equal to a number, the probability that x is less than or equal to a number. So I want to make use of complements just like I did with the binomial. So what I'm going to look for is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to, and now remember I'm getting rid of these numbers, so if I'm starting at 4, I need to get rid of 0, 1, 2, 3. So I need to get rid of the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. Okay, so that's what it looks like if I'm just talking about math. In Excel, again I'll do it first without the equal sign, it's going to be 1 minus Poisson.dist. My new value is 3, my mean is still 0.7, and it's less than or equal to, so I want the 1. So that's what it's going to look like when I plug it in. So now I'll do it with the equal sign, so that I'll get out the actual number. So 3.71, 1, 
and I get a fairly small number. And hopefully that makes sense because remember the probability of getting 0, 1, or 2 was very high. So getting 4, 5, 6, more than that is very low. Okay, so these are the three type, the three basic types. Equal to, Poisson.dist with a 0 at the end. Less than or equal to, Poisson.dist with a 1 at the end. Greater than or equal to, 1 minus Poisson.dist with a 1 at the end. So here are a couple of other ones, again very similar to what we did with binomial. I want the probability that x is between two numbers. So I want the probability that x is between 1 and 6. Notice there are no equal signs, so I'm not including 1 and I'm not including 6. So again, since Poisson distribution takes on integers, that leaves me with 2, 3, 4, and 5. So in order to write this using either equals or less than or equals, I'm going to start with the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. That will give me 0 through 5. And then I want to get rid of everything that is 1 or below. So again, my first part, x, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5 will give me 0 through 5. The probability that x is less than or equal to 1 is 0 and 1, so I want to get rid of those two numbers. So mathematically, that's what my probability will look like. In Excel, I'm going to do Poisson.dist 5.71 minus Poisson.dist 1.71. So it's always the larger number minus the smaller number. If for some reason you get out a negative as your answer, it's probably because you reversed them. So it's the 5 and then the 1. And again, I'll put this in here so we get the actual values. So equals Poisson.dist 5.71 minus Poisson.dist 1.71. And I get 0 0.15571. The next one is strictly greater than. So we did greater than or equal to 4. Now we're doing strictly greater than 4. So this is starting at 5. So 5, 6, 7, forever and ever and ever. So it's greater than, so it's going to start with 1 minus. And then I want to get rid of 0 through 4, which is x less than or equal to 4. So remember when I had greater than or equal to 4 in the beginning, I subtracted greater than or equal to 3. Now I have strictly greater than 4, so I need to get rid of 0 through 4. Okay, so just like with the binomial, you have to be really careful about equal signs. And again, this is just 1 minus Poisson.dist 4.71. So if we look at the value we got here for 4, 5, 6, forever and ever and ever, and then here is 5, 6, 7, this answer should be less than what we had up here because we're not including 4. So hopefully when we do it out, our answer makes sense and we get something that's smaller. And we do. We get something that's a lot smaller. And then our last one is the probability that 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 8. So this is including 3, so we have 3 in here. But numbers that are less than 8 go up to 7. Okay. So it's between two numbers, so just like with um, this one in row 11, we're going to have two probabilities being subtracted. So we start with the fact that we want everything less than 7. So x greater than or equal to 7 minus the probability that x, I think I said greater than, I meant less than. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 7 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 because I want to get rid of 0, 1, and 2. And again, if I was going to type it in, Make sure I'm doing the larger one first. So Poisson.dist of 7.71 minus Poisson.dist 
2.71. And again, if you notice, well, no, we'll leave it, we'll leave it with that. I'll plug it in to the Excel formula with the equals so that it will give me a number. And there we go, 0.03414. Okay, so again, you just have to remember that Excel will only do probability of x equals a number, probability of x less than or equal to a number. So we have to use this idea of complements to rewrite the equations. So if we have greater than or equal to, we can rewrite it to less than or equal to. If I've got between two numbers, I need to use, again, the complements rule, subtraction rule, to make it so that everything is in terms of the probability that x is less than or equal to a number. Okay, So play around with that um, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.